Hey guys, how's it going? My name is Ollie and welcome to another uh, Matt preview. First of all, I'm going to ask you to like the video, uh, subscribe to the channel and leave your scoreline predictions down below. Um, I'm going to go with a 3-0 oh, win for Newport. Optimism, keep it up, keep up the hope. Playoff secured. Uh, this is the match preview for South End away. This is the final match preview of the regular season, but fingers crossed we get playoff and you can get uh, two, possibly three more of these. So, uh, yeah, nice wrap up to the season, but we still got to keep it going. Uh, opponents are South End, they are 23rd in the league, relegated. Um, I do feel sorry for them. They're having a very uh, deep nosedive at the moment. I think this is back-to-back -back relegations for them. Um, uh, I am aware that the fans are protesting before this game um, to try and get the owner, Ron Martin, to leave the club. And um, I just want to offer my full support to them. Um, you know, the kind of hoops that the owners of EFL clubs have to jump through a minimal. Um, it feels like anyone can pick up a club, so... Yeah, I really do hope that they can sort out that situation. Um, more power to the fans. The manager then is Phil Brown. Um, he was brought in in April. Um, it was kind of inevitable. Southend was going to get uh, relegation. He had six games to bridge a six-point gap. Um, and it just didn't happen. Um, I do feel sorry for him. It was kind of a, a poison talisman almost, but... What more can you do? However, they are coming into this game off the back of a 2-1 win um, away to Barrow and a 2-1 win at home to Leighton Orient. So things are on the up. There's a little bit of a, a bounce. Um, we've just got to hope that they don't carry that bounce into this match. Uh, a few injury concerns then for Southend. Dieng and Ferguson are... Uh, likely to return to the squad. Both missed the match against Barrow with a few little knocks. Uh, however, winger Ricky Holmes is out um, with an ankle injury. I think he played about 45 minutes with the injured ankle, which is uh, spectacular, if you ask me, especially with football. But Holmes will be missing out. The one to watch then is Timothy Dieng, if he does return from his knock. Um, he is a centre-back slash centre-mid, however, he can play anywhere. Uh, I think in his last five games, he's played striker, right-mid, centre-mid, and I think centre-back in one of them. I'm going to add to my bets and say he's going to start in goals. Uh, honestly, he can play anywhere. I think he's chipped in with three goals, so he's likely to start up front, but don't be surprised if he's left wing-back. <laughs> the last match then um, between these two sides, um, Southend did pick up the win. Um, it's a day I don't want to remember, but Thomas Clifford scoring a free kick in the 75th minute. Um, it was kind of the plight of our downfall. We all got a bit confident. It was like, ah, Southend, they're 24 for the World Walk over them. Um, and yeah, that's what happened. Pitts was terrible that day. Well, it's, it's terrible any day, but especially on that day. In terms of Newport then, we come into this game off the back of a great 1-0 win against Cheltenham. Um, really dented their, their title party. Um, they thought they might get in the bag. We stopped them. Uh, so the title's going down to the last day of the season. But brilliant win for us. Brilliant goal by Labs. Um, no complaints all round. Uh, no injuries, and I don't think there's going to be any changes to the squad. My lineup's here. Um, I've been through this squad thousands of times. It's on the screen for any South End fans. This is probably our strongest side and uh, the team we're most likely to play. What I'm going to focus on, though, is what Newport need from this match. We're on 72 points. A win is ideal. Take us up to 75. Could give us third or fourth. One point is mathematically enough. As long as we draw, it doesn't matter what Forest Green or Exeter or Salford or whatever, it doesn't matter what results they get. If we get a point, playoffs are confirmed. There is a chance that we can lose and still get playoffs 
but that all rests on Barrow beating Exeter. So we hope for a win, we settle for a draw, and if we lose, we all become Barrow fans for about five or so minutes. But that's what we need. We need at least a point. Uh, as I said at the start, my prediction is 3-0. Um, I think we've kind of hit our form, we've hit our flow. The squad is now working together. They're all kind of reassured of who's playing where and whatnot. Um, so it's happy to see it's very good, um, and especially if we do get the playoffs. But that's it for today. What's your scoreline predictions? Do drop a like on the video and subscribe to the channel. We've hit 3,500 subscribers, powering on the 4K. But as always, my name's been Ollie, and up the county. Olé, olé.